Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. It's time for the Saturday vloggy thing. By the way, in case you didn't guess, I'm Deborah. Anyhow, Saturdays is the day that I kind of wrap up what's been going on for the week uh, in life and in crochet and um, tell you what's coming up, if I know. <laughs> Most of the time, it's just work. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes, I'm going to leave that yawn in because I'm tired. It has been a crazy week at work. Um, I did start with my new responsibilities being team lead. And in addition to that, there's part of a job that I normally do that I share duties with somebody else. And I, I am pretty much keeping that. But that other person that I share duties with is on vacation this week. And I'm training three new people. So it's been busy. I need to clone myself. They don't let me do that, though. That'd be like medical experimentation or something. And besides, could the world really handle more than one of me? Woo! Yeah, I am that kind of crazy. Uh, if you've been paying attention this past couple of weeks, I keep like running out of time to do my during the week videos because I usually record those on the weekends. So I've been popping in during a lunch hour and doing a 30 minute live, which has been fun. But boy, does that make the day even more hectic. It's like, okay, I've got to make sure that I'm there at that time and blah, blah, blah. Whew, but thank you for coming by. Everybody who's been coming by for those lives. That has been really fun getting to interact with everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, maybe I just need coffee or something. Whoa. Haven't had, I did have one cup of mocha macchiato today, have not had any tea, so maybe it's time for something, some kind of a caffeine jolt, because I really do need some. Something I forgot to show y'all a couple, three weeks ago, when I went to one of the festivals, um, there was a fellow there who normally just goes to the, the races and sells there, or to the car shows, but he decided to set up here, because he's local to the town, and he makes stickers, all kinds of cool stickers to put on your car and your whatevers. This is something that I actually say a lot. I have neither the time nor the crayons to explain this to you. Otherwise, I'll, my trainees, I'm like, look, when you send an email to, to this group here, get out your crayons. You have to explain it nice and slow. Okay, there's that. Um, also, this one. I was an honor student. I don't know what happened. I really was. I was actually in gifted. Yeah. Uh-huh. And of course this one because it's Hello Kitty and I absolutely adore Hello Kitty. Probably not licensed though. Oopsie. His prices on his stickers are so low though. They were like three for six or something. Yeah. Oh, and this one does not play well with others. I'm mostly a friendly sort. But cross me. I dare you. <laughs> Anyhow, I wanted to show those off. I finally remembered to take them out of the little baggie that was tucked in the side of my purse next to my wallet. And since I hardly ever go anywhere, it just kind of sat there for a while. All right, put that back there so I don't lose it. Goodness. <sighs> I have this week noticed a lot more buds on my tomatoes. Oh my gosh. I really hope I get tomatoes out of this. They're so, the, the, the plants are big and beautiful and lots of buds all over them. And I'm kind of nervous that I'm just going to mess something up and not get tomatoes, right? I've also got some more seedlings, the things that I need to, to plant. And hours in a day, y'all, hours in a day. I love Crystal Bagaday's thing where she wears watches and wears more watches because she needs more time. Yeah, I, I, I need them head to toe yeah all right dipping into the world of crochet I don't know what the heck this was all about oh and I have figured out just how much I talk with my hands by doing this new position because we have a lot of video meetings you know and you talk and I talk yeah it's a thing the hands won't stop they have minds of their own um I do have one of these is not quite finished because I forgot to weave the handle in but I did some more soap sacks now this one started off round on the bottom no pattern I was just fooling around with cotton okay uh, this one started off sort of oblongy 
oblongy oblongy most of the, this one is definitely for smaller bars of soap might be for good for donation um, as is this little guy I'm thinking with the hotel size soaps donate these because people don't want to carry around a lot of weight when they're carrying stuff when they are experiencing homelessness and having to go to shelters and stuff you got your own little soap and you can put a brand new fresh one in there without it being a big big deal after using it a few times so there's that but this is made with a long narrow rectangle kind of doohickey again no patterns on these i'm a beginner y'all know that i play i play with yarn sometimes things come out that are pretty cool speaking of which i was online shopping this morning yeah a little knits email caught my attention and i ended up playing and a torrid email caught my attention and i ordered a dress for pride month and a pair of shoes i will show you definitely show you all of that when it all comes in i'm feeling the little knits order will get here first because they're pretty quick on their shipping torrid said something about like the middle of june because they're they're revamping their order system or something and it's like, it'll be slow right now, but then that'll result in better in the future. I get it. You have to change stuff up sometimes. But there you go. And this is all done with that Premier Just Cotton that I got from Dollar Tree, um, which is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. It does really well. I've made stuff like this for myself out of that cotton. It's fantastic. They say don't bleach it and everything, but I... I bleach all of my towels yeah um and it's holding up just fine if it doesn't that's my own doing it's definitely not the yarn's fault right, I'm going to toss these right over there you can't see that but they're over there on the bed okay I have another whip um there is a make-along going on by Judy at Witch Peace Crafts and it's called the hashtag rock 2022 AU make along and every twice a month we get to be inspired by an album cover or a genre of music or however she decides to use it to do it this time the album cover um, was kiss the destroyer LP and that one is there four faces in full makeup kiss if you remember kiss gene simmons and all of that um this from the 70s i believe was from the when this album came out and the colors that are in that it's a lot of white because of the face paint and some silver because of ace freely and his makeup a little green as well for some of the makeup some red for some of the makeup and lipstick and I might put more red to also signify when Gene Simmons would spit blood on stage because that's the thing that he does um, and black because there is a lot of black in the album cover as well no ends are weaved in yet but I will weave them all in before I put my border on I don't like to crochet in my ends as I go to me I feel like they end up coming out that's just me uh, but yeah I got a little bit done I started it yesterday and I'm just doing my version of corner to corner and each one of these will make a square. This is one of my other squares. This one was from uh, the fourth one we did, which was Deep Purple Burn, that album. Uh, about this size. And I will join them at the end of the year. They will all have this black border on them. At the end of the year, they will get put into a blanket. Be kind of like the stained glass look blanket. It'll be a really cool blanket to have. Oh, and by the way, with the Kiss one, the silver is sparkle. The black is sparkle which I know does not show really well on my phone the red is also sparkle the green and white are the only non sparkle in this I figure you know what they were like you know glam ish you know with all the makeup and everything I've never seen a kiss concert live I have friends who have and they say yeah they, they put on one heck of a show so I would I wouldn't mind going I think it would be fun or I think it would have been more fun in the 70s or 80s because nobody wants to see these guys in spandex now i don't want to see myself in spandex okay i wore spandex back in those days that ship has sailed it just has okay okay the only other thing that i worked on this week crochet wise because i have been really really busy um is my temperature blanket and i completed another 19 square row 
So we are getting some dark colors in there because the temperature has been getting a lot warmer. Yep. Even had one day of the dark purple as a high temperature, which meant it was over 91 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't remember Celsius. It's like well over 30 or something. So yeah, I have one more square that I did yesterday um, that I just didn't bring bring in here to, to show you, but it's, it's one lonely little square that's not attached to anything yet. By popular request, there will be a tutorial on making my little baby squares and how I join them. And that'll be coming up this coming Friday. If, if you're watching this anytime at the end of May, it'll be coming up the first Friday in June. Um, 2022 that's where we are because see my wonky numbers it's 22 and each one of the other ones signifies the beginning of a month pretty soon i'll have to make one for june because that is coming up but i'm kind of loving the colors the way this works together i love the blue with the purple and that tealy looking uh blue green there i just think it's really cool i like it so yeah so far i have not missed a day i am proud of myself for that but sometimes it helps pull me out of a funk. Just that little bit of crochet. I have to finish my square. So I can say I've accomplished something. Even if I feel like I haven't accomplished diddly all day. Get my square done. I've done something. And sometimes that helps. Okay, it really does. Got that done. Um, oh goodness, what else? I know I was going to tell you something else. And now I can't remember. Oh. I'm not going to talk about what's been going on in the news in this video. I might make another video. Um, if I do, it might offend people. I'm sorry. But I'll just leave that there because this, this video is like good news and happy news and accepting news and a lot of people are having a rough time right now. So we need cheerful. At the end of this video, uh, you're going to see little slideshow. My little plants are getting really big. And uh, Oscar is in there looking cute. And uh, even a picture of me thinking I look cute. I'm looking cute today. You know, might go out and yell at somebody later. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> hopefully you're having a great weekend or a great middle of your week whenever you're watching this. If you're like me, you tend to watch things a little bit behind. If you have a video that I have missed that I really need to go see, let me know down in the comments because I have missed a lot of notifications with all of the meetings and stuff at work. Um, I don't get to watch as many videos as I was because I have to actually watch and interact with the screen and not, you know, watch the video while I work. So yeah, that's a little frustrating, but the pay bump is worth it. I'm not even kidding. I think that's kind of why I decided I was going to do a little bit of shopping today. So I ordered very little from Torrid and I ordered very little from Little Knits. So just got a little bit coming in. I'll have a little haul coming up once they show up. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are too because Little Knits has some cool stuff. Not affiliated with anything or anybody, but if you've never been to Little Knits, littleknits.com, check them out. They have some great deals a lot of the times. Just dig. A lot of the things they show when they show a price for something, look at it because it might be a price for a full five pack bag and not just a price for one. That's one of the sets of yarns that I bought. It was like, ooh, five pack. So I got enough that sh should be enough to make me a little cardigan out of, a little neutral cardigan. Yes, neutral, me, what? Well, we can't always wear bright florals, although I'm thinking about putting blue in my hair. Because, yeah. I need it. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming by. If you haven't subscribed already, I would invite you to do so. Consider it at least. Um, if you haven't hit the like button and you kind of like what I had to say today or you like my craziness, hit that like button. Leave me a comment and hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Bye y'all.